Hey guys, Josh here today. We're here to make some predictions for the F1 2017 season today. We're going to be talking about who will be driving for Ferrari and Haas. Now, I'll be doing most of the other teams in a later video. But I did want to focus on Ferrari today because we did get an interesting rumour that Nico Rosberg might be moving to Ferrari at 4th 2017. So I just wanted to basically discuss that and then uh, just talk about the likelihood of that and who else might be moving to Ferrari. And also I thought I'd bundle in Haas as well because it is kind of linked with the course. They, that you know, them having Ferrari young drivers, and even the possibility that Grosjean might earn promotion to Ferrari in the next couple of years. Anyway, let's get straight into it then, talking about the possible candidates for Ferrari. Now, I've kind of narrowed it down to four drivers, and of course, it's down, of course, between Kimi Raikkonen, of course, who's their current driver and uh, very much could be staying on for another year. He's been in really, really good form recently, and uh, I'll, I'll come on to talk a bit more about him later on. Valtteri Bottas, of course, linked with the Ferrari drive for the past couple of years. He's been having a really, really solid run at Williams recently, and uh, although he's, I think, a little underrated by most people, I think Bottas is a really, really big talent, and is certainly one that Ferrari, have, I think, have always really been keeping an eye on, and, uh, well, you know, Finn for Finn, it would be, be a good swap, I think, and uh, Bottas is certainly quite a likely candidate. Also, Danny Ricciardo, that name's been thrown around quite a bit, and of course, Nico Rosberg as well, for a bit, a bit of an, uh, a wild card, really, and maybe even someone like Nico Hulkenberg, but I really doubt it. I mean, A, it would have probably already happened by now, but I think mainly because Hulkenberg's just had a real dip in form recently. He's had a lot of bad luck, but he really just hasn't been performing to the standard that we saw him performing in 2013 and 2014. I'm not quite sure what's happened to him recently, if it's just Perez stepping up his game, which if he has, and Hulkenberg still performing the same, then I think you've got to put Perez in that Ferrari seat, but uh, personally I think it's just Hulkenberg kind of um, just having a really bad spell and has uh, just really gone off uh, colour and is just not really happy with Force India, but uh, we'll see if he sticks around, I think he already has a contract for 2017, but of course they can be broken, and we will talk about Force India in another video, but I think Perez and Hulkenberg are uh, probably staying put, and uh, certainly I can't see Perez or Hulkenberg really going to Ferrari. Kimi Raikkonen, though, I think he could stay on. I mean, he's been having a really, really solid 2016 season, and he's really proved his worth, I think. Whether it's in 2014 and 2015, he was not doing the best of, you know, job, really. I think many Raikkonen fans, even Raikkonen fans, were, you know, c calling for his retirement, really, and maybe it was time for him to throw in the towel, but uh, Ferrari really have proved us wrong, I think, and their confidence has been rewarded with a, a very solid start to the season from Raikkonen. It remains to be seen if he will keep this up, but he's second in the championship with three podiums, which probably should have been four, really, had he not had that incident in China, so... Certainly, it's been a very, very solid season from Kimi Raikkonen so far, and uh, it'll be interesting to see how he can continue that over these next few races, and if he can c continue to build up a momentum. I mean, he's ahead of Sebastian Vettel in the championship, but how long will that last? Well, you know, we're going to have to see. I mean, they've had a very similar results. Um, they both have three podiums to the name, so... Uh, it's been interesting to see this dynamic between Raikkonen and Vettel. I mean, Vettel dominated Raikkonen in 2015, but uh, Raikkonen, you know, might be able to uh, take it to him over these next few races. But I think Vettel, of course, will probably will come out on top of that battle. But if Raikkonen can get within, say, 50 points of Vettel, um, you know, at the end of the season, then definitely I think he does warrant another year at Ferrari. And he's certainly been helping Ferrari's championship challenges, uh, chances rather, and... Uh, for once, is actually really contributing to Ferrari's points total. So it's good to see Raikkonen arguably in better form than we've seen him probably since 2013. So good to see kind of not the old Raikkonen back, but certainly an improved Raikkonen. And uh, I think he's done enough really to warrant another year. But the main question is not whether you want to keep Raikkonen, but whether you want to bring in someone like Daniel Ricciardo. I mean, this is the guy, of course, who's put in some amazing performances at Red Bull since 2014. And, uh, of course, he won three races for them in that year. Beat Sebastian Vettel um, and, of course, in 2015. Although was outpointed by Danny Fiat, still showed some really amazing pace. Um, did have a bit of, you know, a bit of a, a worse season, I think, in 2015, but he brought it back in 2016. And although, of course, he didn't take the win in Spain, and his teammate did, he's got four fourth-place finishes in the last five races. He put away Danny Fiat and basically lost the Fiat seat, uh, made, you know, made, made the Russian lose his seat just because Ricardo was doing so well. And then Verstappen came in, and Ricardo still managed to out-qualify him, and... Uh, Points some really impressive performances. I mean, he's he's already qualified on the front row this season. He hasn't quite got a podium yet, but I'm sure that will come in these next couple of races. And uh, Ricardo's, 
I think in the form of his life really and uh, is looking very very menacing and I think definitely could win a race before the end of the season. The question is though, would he leave Red Bull? And if I was Ricardo, to be honest, I wouldn't. I'd be staying with uh, Red Bull. I mean, of course, Verstappen, with him joining the team, that definitely throws up another kind of question for Ricardo because, you know, Verstappen's a big danger and uh, there is a big danger in Ricardo beating. Uh, Verstappen rather beating Ricardo, so Ricardo's got to watch out for that. But of course, you know, if he moved to Ferrari, he'd have Sebastian Vettel, so he's kind of doomed either way and uh, is going to have a really, really tough challenge. But he's doing well at the moment, and I think he can, uh, you know, beat Verstappen over the season. But it should be very close between those two. Um, but to be honest, uh, you know, Red Bull, I think, will be the better place to be in 2017. They have the best chassis on the grid, and I think with the engine upgrades coming over the uh, the course of this season and for next year with the token system being scrapped and, Re and Red Bull having a much better relationship with Renault, to be honest, I think Red Bull will be faster than Ferrari in 2017, and therefore I think Ricardo should stay at Ferrari, and I think he will. And then, of course, also we got the rumour about Nico Rosberg from Sky Italia saying Ferrari have approached him. So, yeah, I don't think this one's going to happen. I mean, why would Nico Rosberg leave the championship winning team to go and join Ferrari? Of course, Ferrari are a historical team. Every driver probably wants to drive for them. But even so, would you really sacrifice a seat of the best team or rather the fastest team in Formula 1 at the moment? I mean, they're still probably going to be the strongest team in 2017 as well. So... Really, I think that rumour is definitely false, or at least even if Ferrari do want Rosberg, I don't think he's going to move, and I think he will be at Mercedes for sure at 27, uh, in 2017. So I think that one is definitely, you know, not going to happen. I don't think he's really even a contender for that Ferrari seat. But maybe one person who's a bit of an, an outside shot, maybe Carlos Sainz Jr. I'd certainly, if I was Ferrari, I'd definitely be looking at him. I mean, he's a very, very talented driver who, uh, you know, really stood up to Verstappen at Toro Rosso and really put him through his paces. And we now we've seen what Verstappen can do. I think Sainz can do just as well. It's a bit like Vernon Ricciardo, and I really hope that Sainz doesn't go the same way as Vernon. Actually, that's a bit of an unfair comparison because I would say Sainz is a lot better than John Vernon because Vernon's really struggled in qualifying and did have quite a few flaws that people did tend to forget. But to be honest, Carl Sainz is amazing in qualifying and really, really good in the races as well. So if I was Ferrari, I'd certainly consider Carl Sainz, although I definitely don't think it's going to happen. If it does, I, I, I would be very happy because I think he would definitely fit in at Ferrari very, very well. And if they want to go for a bit of a, you know, a wild card, a bit of an unknown, but I think Carlos Sainz is, is definitely the driver that uh, they want to go and pick. Roman Grosjean, Haas, of course, driver at the moment. I think he's probably going to be staying there for 2016. I think some people have said he might get promoted to Ferrari, but... Uh, Personally, I think that would only happen if Raikkonen was to retire and then Ferrari really needed someone and they couldn't get Ricardo. I think Grosjean's probably third or fourth. Uh, you know, then kind of where does Bottas factor into all of this? It, 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 it's kind of tough to suggest. But certainly, if I was Ferrari, my order would probably be Ricardo, um, Bottas, and then, you know, probably, mm, it, I mean, it depends, but probably then Roman Grosjean. Pretty tight between Grosjean, Hulkenberg and Perez, but uh, probably go for Grosjean out of those three just because he's familiar with the Ferrari power unit and uh, probably a lot of the Ferrari team as well. Um, but yeah, I think Grosjean will stay at Haas for another year and I think Raikkonen then will stay at Ferrari as well. So I think it's going to be Raikkonen and Vettel at a Ferrari and then I think Grosjean and who else then at Haas? Well, I think it's going to be Charles Leclerc. He's doing a really, really solid job already in GP3. He already won the feature race. Didn't quite have the best sprint race. He finished ninth, and uh, GP3 looks pretty tough to overtake this year. At least at Barcelona, it did anyway. Um, but I think he's going to win the championship this year, uh, and that could be the springboard he needs to uh, propel him into a seat in F1 next year. I think it's really good if at Haas are kind of a you know, junior Ferrari team because... Junior Ferrari drivers in the past have struggled to break into Formula 1 just because there aren't that many seats and Ferrari don't have a junior team as such so they need someone like Manor um, or of course someone like Haas now um, to really give their young drivers a shot and I think Gutierrez should not be in Formula 1 next year. He's had three years in Formula 1 and I think that's way too much for a driver of his uh, well, lack of, uh, of skill really. I mean he is a GP3 champion. He of course has scored points on one occasion in three years or well, I say three years really it's two years and five races. Um, it hasn't scored points this season, although he has had car issues and uh, a lot of bad luck, and he did um, have a, a very good race in Spain. I think he's just way too inconsistent. He's just not got the raw speed of the rivals for that half scene. I think Charles Leclerc would be a really, really good rookie. He's only uh, 18, but of course he will be 19 for next year. I think he's a better better as well than the other Ferrari drivers they had off, have on their payroll. I mean, Ferrucci's certainly not ready. 
Fualco, you know, could we see him move there? I'm not sure. I mean, if Leclerc beats him this year, then I don't think you can really make an argument for Fualco um, getting the jump on Leclerc, unless Leclerc was to go into GP2 in 2017. But I think they do tend to just like to skip the GP2 category out and just promote them straight into the house team. So I think it probably will be Leclerc and uh, maybe someone else, you know, we'll, we'll see. But I, I think it is going to be Leclerc and Grosjean at Haas for 2017 and Raikkonen and Vettel at Ferrari for 2017. So definitely do a lot of the other teams in the future. There's no rush really because, of course, we have so much developing stories. There's no point doing Mana either really at the moment because... Let's be honest, that's probably going to go down to money, and we won't know that until later on in the season. So anyway, you guys can leave your predictions for who will be at Ferrari and who will be at Haas for 2017. Anyway, until my next video, I hope you guys have a wonderful week. Goodbye.